Hello everyone. Welcome to Boomer Bust. I wanted to take you on a tour of our winter habitat at Nettles Island. So stay along for the ride. I think you'll find this an interesting place to uh, escape the winter as we do here at Nettles Island. Now, Nettles Island is located in Florida and it's in South Florida, but not too far south. And we're near Fort Pierce. We're in between Fort Pierce and West Palm. And as you see, as the map zooms in, we are just off Hutchinson's Island South, and which is a barrier island. And Nettles Island kind of juts out into the intracoastal waterway here. And it's a community. And there's a, a variety of houses, RVs, and a variety of people, which makes it all interesting. So uh, once again, welcome to the tour of Nettles Island. Our first stop is going to be at the Ocean Pool and this pool is actually across the, the street A1A across from across A1A from uh, the entrance to Nettles Island and it really sits, it's situated probably about a half a mile from where we're staying here. So the pool offers some great ocean views and you can actually sit at high top tables here along the fence so that you can see out and look over the ocean. Now I did this on a very windy day as you can see so uh, I didn't do any audio the wind would just totally blank out anything uh, that I might say in the audio here, so I didn't do any audio uh, other than this voiceover, obviously. Now, the ocean pool has a little cafe, and as I said, you can sit out along the fence and watch the ocean, or you can sit in the shade and enjoy a hamburger, hot dog, uh, and a pretty good menu, a nice variety of things. Now we're going onto the island, and this is the causeway that little is a small causeway that leads out onto Nettles Island. And as you can see, the uh, intracoastal kind of surrounds uh, the island, and we're looking north here at this point. And now we're looking at the boat ramp, and the boat ramp is looking east as we pan over to uh, look more south. And Nettles Island has a marina, and it's a popular place for people to bring their boats down during the winter. Bring them, they bring them down from the east coast and get a slip and winter here uh, on the island. Apparently they're putting in some more slips. That's why the barge with the crane is there. You can see the fish cleaning station. Then on the other side of the causeway, which would be the north side of the causeway, is a dog walk. A very popular dog walk. I would say the majority of people on Nettles Island have dogs. So it's a, a place where you gotta have, you have to have a dog walk. People need a place to do that. Now, again, we're panning back north and looking at the looking at the east side of the island and this area here is popular for uh, fishing you can fish off the bank of the causeway uh, or take a boat out fish there quite often you see dolphins uh, playing out in the water here and it's a great place for kayaking yeah, it's also a good place to set read a book and here's another view, a little closer view of the marina. Now just to the 
east, I'm sorry, just to the west of the marina is a little commercial area and has a variety, it has a variety of things, uh, including as you see the massage area and it has the village grocery, where you, a small grocery store where you can get the essentials and actually quite a variety of things in the grocery store. And there's a dog spa. And there's also a hair salon in this area as well. And as you go back um, into the, an area in between, building a split, and as you walk down this little alleyway, I guess, uh, you'll notice on the right there's a restaurant, and it's called Sauter's Landing. And this restaurant's very popular. It has some great food and a very nice atmosphere because you can, if it's chilly, you can sit inside and enjoy your food. Or if you want, there's an open cabana area where you can get some great food. Uh, they have great fish dishes, uh, some good salads, and just a nice variety. And it's, it's high quality stuff here. You know, it may not look look like much, but the food is just great, and the and the atmosphere uh, is equal. Now, moving on into the interior of the island, actually over onto the uh, uh, west side of the island is the recreational hall, and in the upper port part of the recreational hall is a ballroom and a variety of activities happen there. And then down below is a area where you can play ping pong and you can check out equipment for the miniature golf or um, all the other activities on the island, shuffleboard, uh, a whole variety of things. Also in the inside the also inside the rec hall is a cafe, and it's the gathering place. It's a breakfast lunch nook, and it's a great place to uh, go have some breakfast. You get up early in the morning and you want some eggs, this is the place to go. They do a very good job with cooking. Also, if you're at the pool, you can wander down there and get some uh, sandwiches. And that's the shuffleboard court. And behind the shuffleboard court are the tennis courts. Now, as we're walking up to the pool area here, uh, you can see on the on the left there's a little playground uh, full of sand, a very popular place for uh, parents and the younger ones. And now we're going to go up the stairs to the pool, by, the pool by the recreational hall. And this pool it sits almost on top of the what they call the Grand Canal, which is a huge uh, channel cut into the island, where people who live along the Grand Canal can have uh, boats, they have slips there. And, can enjoy the intracoastal and eventually make it out to the Atlantic Ocean through the uh, Stewart Inlet. And those black panels you see on top of the recreational hall, they are solar heating panels which heat the it heat the water in the swimming pool. Does a good job. And here again are the tennis courts. and horseshoes. Then just on the other side of the pool, near the Grand Canal, are the bocce ball courts.
Okay, thank you for taking a few minutes and watching my short video on Nettles Island.